Hey everyone, today we're going to do a swim jig, um, and it doesn't have to be a swim jig, this is a universal deal, but uh, the way I'm tying this, uh, the colors, it's going to be a swim jig. So in the vise we have a half ounce poison tail jig, it's got a 4 aught Mustad 32-848 uh, skipjack hook, which is one of these sickle style, but this one is a little different. Uh, the point goes uh, out. It's got a, a bigger gap than uh, a lot of other hooks, even some round bends. And the pattern is going to be blue pearl, but the color, the paint that we're using is a new one it's called monkey milk. It's in that uh, chameleon. And the difference between this stuff and like the Razzle Dazzle and the Double Dazzle uh, Nova Stone powder paints. Look at the glitter in this. Now, this isn't, you know, um, a glitter paint like those. This here is real smooth. The... I don't know, um, it's real fine glitter and it's very, it's, there's a lot of it in here, but it, it's still a smooth texture. It's not, you know, rough like the, the double dazzle colors. But anyway, this monkey milk is, this, this stuff is, I'm, I'm already in love with it. Uh, I'm getting the other colors. I got black gold as well. And now I'm going to order the amethyst and the sapphire. That this stuff is, I mean, you can't see it. My camera work is shoddy, but this whole thing is iridescent. Um, one way it looks purple, another way it's blue, uh, and you can put this over top of a base. I did one just uh just seeing what how it would work and i did it over a pearl base that looks really well and i'm going to do a jig with that um somewhere down the line but for now i'm just playing around with some of the these new paints and um i'm i'm stoked over it it's it's a whole new, uh, it's a game changer as far as uh, flash is concerned. You want something that's going to uh, reflect light from a distance, this thing is it. So anyway, enough of me blabbing on and I'm going all over the place here. We're going to start with some 210 denier flat wax nylon in blue. Yeah, I wasted a lot of thread on that one, and that's just because the end of it was frayed from jigs that I did earlier, so I wanted to get rid of that and make sure I didn't have any weak spots. All right, first thing we're going to add, it's a real simple deal, two colors, uh, two and a half tabs. This is iridescent white. Again, I'm I'm sorry for my lighting and camera work. Uh, I ordered this just because I was always wondering what iridescent white was. This is awesome. Uh, I wouldn't say the glitter is holographic, but it's uh, definitely a uh, iridescent quality to it, and. Um, the white is almost, um, it's translucent with a blue tint, almost a, a pearl type deal. It's perfect with this monkey milk. Now it looks, one looks brighter than the other, you know, that the, this looks white, but the glitter and all works perfect 
with this monkey milk paint. So I'm going to set my distance there with how far I want this going out the back. Like I told you, this is a real simple deal. Pull it tight. Flip it over. They got a little too far with that. Same thing. Iridescent white. If you were ever on the fence about buying this uh, particular skirt material, don't hesitate. This is this is really nice. I was pleasantly surprised. Because again, you when you're buying skirt material, no matter where you're getting it from, you're sort of taking a leap of faith. Like if it, like colors that uh, you normally don't use. And what I mean is like something that's brand new. You're like, oh, I want to try that. And you look at it and you say, oh, you know, that looks pretty good. Well, then you get it and you're like, oh, that ain't what I was wanted. So that's kind of what happens with a lot of this stuff. Now, I again, I bought this on a leap of faith thinking, oh, you know, um, we'll see what it is. I didn't really know what to expect. It just said iridescent white. Well, let me tell you now, you won't be sorry if you get this. You can use this with pearl, um, basically anything. It's a really, uh, I really like the look of this. I can't wait to see what it's like in water, in, in, you know, stained water, clear water. All right. Now, the next up, this is pale blue pepper. And when uh, there was a company, it's lower parts online now, but it was once called Stamina. And uh, the one thing with them is they had a lot of these colors a long time ago, but different names. Like, um, I seen this pale blue pepper as two different, the same, it's the same color. It just two different names. One, they called it, I think Carolina blue. And another one was, I seen was sexy blue from different places. And uh, the Carolina Blue, I think that was stamina. And Jan's Netcraft had it as sexy. Uh, yeah, I think Jan's had sexy blue. And um, yes, Jan's had sexy blue. And um, stamina had the Carolina Blue. That's how it was. There's all kinds of things like that. Um, Blue Glimmer. That used to be stamina called that clear blue interference. That's what that was called. So that's why it's important when you, you get a color to like a I store my skirt material in Ziplocs. I put the name of the material, the SKU or the order number. And I also uh, put that, you know, where I purchased it from. Because again, you buy it someplace, uh, it might be a different name. And then you're like looking for it and you can't find it, you know. So... This way, when I do that, it lets it lets me know what I got, where I got it from. That way, when I need to get more, I know where to go, what the order number is. I don't have any problem like that. And this is a half a tab that I, I of course, I cut it in half. You know, the 
make it easier to tie in and spread out. Let's make sure we got, yeah, that's good. Because just for a dash of color anyway, just a little bit. And it works with the, the blue theme that we got going on here. Come on, I can't get a hold of this. I want to pull it up here yet. Just like that. Make a couple wraps and get it nice and tight. All right. Now, we're going to take three strands. This is, uh, yeah, you can't really see this at all. But this is a uh, blue pearl polar flash. And we got three strands of this. Three on the bottom. Just got to spread it out a little bit. And we'll flip it over and we'll do three on the top. Six strands for a jig this size isn't much at all, but again, I, I want it just to work with the, uh, the colors that are in that head. That head's very bright, so I don't need a lot of flash. Really don't need any, to be honest, but I want it to have that that color going all the way throughout the skirt. You know, so it flows all the way. Okay. And where's my thread at? There we go. The only thing with having all this is... Got to make sure we don't get nothing tangled. I'm being very careful here because I don't want to mess this video up. All right, we take our little hair clip. And we're going to start whip finishing. One, two, three. Four, and five. I gotta make sure that flash doesn't get trapped. Cinch it, and the same thing. One, two, Three. Ah, that's good enough. Slipped off of there and I'm not playing around. <laughs> it's good enough though. It's I just always go a little overboard with it just to make sure it's nice and tight. All right. Now we're going to take our water-based head cement and... Okay, now we're going to get our big scissors, and we'll cut everything. We'll even it up, and then I'll put the weed guard in, and then I'll show you what we have. All 
I want to make sure I get it untangled so that way it uh I have I not having any uh strands that are real long or real short. They all stay pretty much uniform. Not exactly perfect. I want a little bit of a uh, variance, but now we'll take our super glue gel control. Don't need much. Whoop. I thought I had it in there. That could have been disastrous. There we go. And there you have it. Blue Pearl. There, that's a good, you could get a good idea to paint there. But there you have it. Give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.